Joining us now is King County Executive Candidate Fred Jarrett. Mr. Jarrett spent 35 years at Boeing as a project manager. In 2000, he was elected to the State House of Representatives from Mercer Island. And in 2008, he was elected a state senator. He has a bachelor's degree from Washington State University and an MBA from Seattle University. Uh, Mr. Jarrett, the sheriff came out swinging this week, uh, attacking the priorities of King County budgeting and saying that the criminal justice system has been unfairly targeted. In your reviewing of King County uh, uh, spending, do you see that as well? She's right on the mark. In the last budget cycle, they took about 138 heads out of the uh, criminal and civil justice and public safety area and low single digits out of the rest of the general fund. Uh, the county has a spending problem. Its spending has gone up three times the rate of inflation over the last five years. And it's time that we start to hold people accountable and we start to become efficient and we deliver the services that are required that we are our paramount duty, and that's criminal and civil justice and the public safety system. Part of your positioning in this campaign is to paint yourself as a bit of an outsider, somebody from outside King County uh, who can bring a breath of fresh air, a new view to, uh, to county problems. But you've been on city council, you've been the mayor in Mercer Island. You've been elected five times to the, uh, four times to the House of Representatives, yes. once to the Senate. Um, how is it that you can call yourself an outsider? You swim in the same pool, do you not? Well, actually, no. Uh, my experience has been both at the regional level and the local level, and almost always in an adversarial relationship with the county. I've seen the problems that the county has. I've witnessed in the, in the legislature what the county's problems have been in making its case because of the problems that it has. Uh, and I have 35 years, as you mentioned, of public, of private sector experience on how to make organizations work, how to make organizations that are dysfunctional uh, reform into organizations that are effective. I think I know enough about government and I know enough about business that I can put the two together and actually make King County work. One of your opponents uh, this week was rather sneeringly referred to as a Republican. You've been a Republican. Are we to the point in King County where uh, if you're a Republican, you're not electable to a countywide office? Well, I don't know. I don't think that's the case. I think you have to uh, make the case to the public that you have the skills and that you match the values that the public does. One of the reasons that I left the Republican Party was because it left the values that I have. What would you do differently in terms of uh, transit, in terms of transportation in King County? Well, I think buses need to go where they work and they need to go where we want them to work. And I think that the 20-40-40 formula that we use uh, currently to allocate service is a, it's, it's a measure of effort, not of results. I want to get us so that we get as many people onto buses and out of cars as we possibly can. And I want to make it clear to people who are making investments, especially in dense development, where we are going to be able to support it and where we're going to provide the trans transportation services that they will benefit from. What's a, what's a single tangible change in spending priorities you'd like to make to try to eat away at the massive budget problems we're seeing right now? Well, I think one of the easiest ones to talk about is the uh, employee sharing uh, part of the premium for their health care. King County spends about $215 million today on health care. Um, that's about $1,200 per employee per month. Uh, compare that to the state. The state pays $700. And a large part of the difference is the share of the cost of health care that, uh, that employees share in. Um, I think that it, it sets a bad, uh, sends a bad message when public employees are getting benefits that very few other people get and very few other public employees get. And I think we have to find a way to be able to convince the employees and the unions that this is something that is not in their interest or in our interest, and it's an easy way to make a big dent in the budget. All right, Fred Jarrett, thank you very much for your time today on Upfront. Thanks for joining thank us. Thank you. We're going to continue this discussion online. What do you think of today's candidates for King County Executive? Just type in king5.com.